Hey guys, so React 16.3 just came out and I wanted to go over some of the features and I'm going to just break it up and today I'm going to be going over the uh, forwarding of refs in the new refs API. So if you're not familiar with what a ref is, it's handy to give you access to a DOM node. So for example, this is pretty much what I use it for the most. If I have an input field like this, we can see it right here. You'll notice my cursor is currently not in it, right? But I have to click in to get in it. So what you can do is you can uh, focus it. So if I create a ref, right now how it works is you get a callback. Um, and this gives you reference to this guy right here. So X right now is actually an input element. And I can call dot focus on it. And now what you'll notice is when this uh, renders, and we have to actually check, so X. Sometimes it will return null, so you just have to make sure X is actually uh, there, and we'll save this. And now uh, you'll notice my cursor is uh, in there automatically. If we refresh, it's focused on there. So this is really handy. So what is actually new? So this is the old way um, for you to do it. So it's a callback like this, and the callback's kind of annoying. Uh, an even older way to do this is to actually set the ref as a string that's like, um, hey like that but that's no longer a thing um, they prefer this manner right here um, with the callback and they even created a new version where you do react.create ref um, that acts kind of like the string so we're gonna look at this um, but before we look at that we're gonna look at forwarding refs um, so what is up with forwarding refs well let's say I don't have my input right here but I create a new module called um, my input. And the reason why you might do this is let's say you want to have a custom uh, styling or something. So you put it over here and you just uh, export default this function. And then in here you have your input, right? And then maybe you have some props and then whatever props you want to pass, you like put all the props on input here, right? So if we come over here, uh, I would like to pass this ref in um, to my input, and it, it does. But if I now change this to my input, and let's import it, okay, so notice how it's not focusing. And the reason for that is uh, ref is actually not getting passed uh, here. It's not getting passed to input. You would think it would be, but what I have reference to is actually the my input component. I don't have reference to this guy right here, um, which is kind of annoying. So what I would do in the past is uh, just reference it by a different name. So I would say like my ref and then to be able to pass it to this input, I would just destructure my props like this. And I would grab my ref off of it and then just pass the ref in like that. So I would say my ref. And now you have the reference to this input tag right here. Now, this is how I would handle it in the past, um, but now, they React gave you a new way to do this, so you don't even have to worry about doing this. Uh, I'm not really sure if this is just a better way of doing it, um, but we can keep ref here, and this is where we use the forwarding of references. So we use this function called react dot um, forward ref, oops, and then inside of that is going to be a function that takes props and a reference. So it's basically the same thing as we had before. And I don't know if this is just like a convenience function. So now I can have this whole thing wrapped. And so now I have props as my first. And now I have my ref. And I can pass my ref in. And you'll notice it's now focused. And here, let's, we can close this so you can see all the code. Um, I don't really know that, well, if this is like just better than what I was doing before, where if I pass in the my reference and then I put my reference here, and that's what I used to do. 
or if this was just supposed to be uh, something to uh, make it faster to do that or what. I'm not sure what the underlying thing, but they have it now, so it's an official thing they support. So the last thing that I want to look at is uh, this, so passing in the reference like this. So you would follow along just how they do it like this. So we would create a uh, reference, and you have to be using a class, not a function like this. Um, you you just use a reference callback like this if you were using that. So we're going to turn app into a class, and we're going to say extends react.component. And we're just going to render. And uh, so they actually add it in the constructor here. Uh, what I've also seen and what I kind of prefer to do is like not even worry about putting this in the uh, constructor at all. So just like putting it right here in the static. Um, oops, not static, but just um, kind of floating in the class. So now this is a class property, a text input, um, and it's now a React uh, reference. And all we have to do is just uh, pass it in here. And now, as you guys saw in that little example, component did mount. We now have access to it here. And we could say this.textInput.Current. And uh, we could call dot .focus on it. So it looks like you just, and let's, let's make sure it works. Um, we have an unexpected token. I forgot to just close my render function. There we go. Um, and sure enough, it focuses just as that. So notice the text input matches up here, and then we put the word dot .focus to get, or it's not dot .focus, but dot .current. Um, I wasn't really sure why they did that, but they have a little note here that says accessing the current to get the current DOM node. I'm not sure why you don't just do uh, this dot text input and then dot .focus. I'm guessing because current might be null or something, possibly. Um, but this is kind of similar if you've used the string before in the past. Um, but honestly, I don't use ref a lot. I The only thing I've really used it in the past is for focusing an input field. Um, and then maybe like scrolling, um, being able to uh, scroll programmatically. Uh, but now you have a few other tools in React 16 or 16.3 to help you out with this. Most of the time I usually use the callback, but this is actually pretty nice because um, callbacks can kind of be annoying as you had to see uh, depending on what you're doing. So now you have a couple options. So both are good. Use whatever is easiest in the situation you're in. So that's it for this video, guys. I'll be hitting up new features and looking at them and explaining my thoughts uh, very soon.